Hi guys, this is Rara Coco, and today is the third day for MULN Massive Squeeze Kaboom that is about to happen in a very, very near future. Now, the perfect setup happened. As you know, three days ago, I did an update with regards to MULN short interest was at 21%, a massive, massive, massive 21%, millions of shares borrowed by the short sellers. Until now, they have not returned that shares. And then Tuesday happens, the stock went down a little bit from 100%, right? It popped 100% and then the stock went down a little bit. You know what they did, right? The short sellers, they borrowed more shares. Okay, they borrowed more shares, shorted the stock. And then today, which is uh is today, what's today? Today's Wednesday, May 1. They borrowed more shares and shorted the stock some more. So they are avoiding the squeeze to happen. In order for the squeeze to happen, first thing and foremost, that the CEO of MULN does not do any sort of delusion until <laughs> the squeeze happen. If the CEO does delusion of the stock where he increased the free float, increased the shares of the stock, do some sort of offering, then the stock, what he did or what that person did is give the short sellers more ammunition to sell more the stock or to short more the stock and then return the stock at the lowest price possible. So right now the stock is getting expensive, expensive and getting higher and higher and higher, correct? So the other one that MULN can do, the CEO, if he is on, this is a theory, this is my opinion only, not advice, not recommendation, whatever. If the CEO very, very soon will do some sort of buying the stock, showing everybody that he is willing to be a part of the retail investors, that he buys the stock or the share of MULN, takes out of his own money and buy the stock of MULN, that shows confidence that the stock is that he thinks that the stock is going to explode, right? So that's two, that is the two things that can that the CEO can do to help the retail investors. And if he is against those short sellers, and if he is against them, and he is with the retail investors, they are helping you guys out or everybody that is buying the stock, then the stock might explode. Let me show you proof and evidence of what is happening on MULN, okay, MULN. Let me do this, take a look at this specific stock, all right? Look at this right now, the stock, okay? If you go one week, you can see the big difference, right? It's at $3.16, okay, uh, accumulation, $3.16. It hovered around that price range and then massive kaboom. Okay, this is good. It went to $6.85 and then consolidating around that price. This is a good thing. This is very, very strong. Okay, but take a look at this information, ladies and gentlemen. Take a look at this information. All right, take a look at this. What happens here? All right. What happened there? From 21% to 30% short interest. Monday, it was at 21%. Tuesday, they wanted the rally to stop. They The short sellers, whoever they are, I don't know who they are, and this is a theory, they wanted the stock not to rally some more. So they shorted it big time. They borrowed more shares and shorted the stock and stopped the rally, right? And then borrowed some more today. They increased 
more shares. They have increased more shares, right? This is in the danger zone. So this is almost 30% of the free float was borrowed by the short sellers. And until now, they have not returned it. Why they're not returning it? It's because right now it's too expensive to return it. They want to return it maybe below $2 or $3. So they keep shorting the stock. But the problem is, here's a problem. Here is a problem. The short seller, the, the, uh, here's a problem. The retailer investors, two days now, they have not, they're holding and they're not selling. Okay. So all of these people here hold and they're not selling. If this one goes back to $3, okay, then I suspect the sell off happened or they shorted some more. But right now that I'm suspecting that they are holding around this area and there is another round two kaboom that is about to happen. And that is really, really, really needed to happen. So these people that are holding and new buyers will come in and identify the stock as a short, as the shorted of 30% identified. This can, this can explode very, 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 very high. But in order for that to happen too, is all of these people, if they're going to hold and the star keeps going higher and higher and higher, if the stock goes higher, if the stock goes higher and 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 higher this could trigger okay this could trigger a margin call okay and the short sellers the shorts needs to pay the shares that they borrowed. So it will be infinite, infinite, okay, of the short sellers will lose lots and lots and lots of money only if the stock keeps go higher, higher, and higher, and higher, and higher, and higher, and higher. And then it will trigger it will take trigger a short squeeze. Okay. I have a feeling that the CEO knows exactly what is about to happen. All right. So this is the things that needed to be watched on MULN. Okay. These are the things that needs to be watched on MULN. Number one, no delusion. Okay. This will help. This will help with the squeeze. Number two, CEO buys the shares. This will help and trigger squeeze. Number three. So no delusion CEO, okay. Price needs to keep going up. To keep going higher and higher and higher. Okay. Number four, okay. Holding the stock. Till it squeeze. And a lot of people that I suspect, a lot of these people that I suspect, okay, that is already, a lot of people that is already on display, which is a lot of these people right now, so far, I'm liking it. All right. They have been sold. Okay, these people right here have not sold yet. They are holding. 
And if they continue to hold and the price keeps going up, then the stock has the possibility for a massive squeeze kaboom. A massive swing squeeze kaboom. Big, 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 big potential. Now, one thing for sure, more news is coming for this company. Good news. More news is coming. More catalyst is coming for this company, for MULN. The CEO is in control of this situation. If he does delusion, the stack, this stock will tank. That's one. Okay? If he does delusion. Bad news, the stock will tank. Of course, that is the possibility. Now that this, all of this information is within your hands, right? All this information is within your hand, hands. I'm not asking you to buy, hold, or sell this stock. You have to do your own due diligence because I am not a financial advisor and I cannot give advice, recommendation, entry point, and exit point. I cannot give you that. Okay? Ladies and gentlemen, take a look at that stock. See if you want to invest on those specific stock. See if you want to make things happen on that stock. Okay? So, these are the stock that is about to explode or will explode more. Okay? These are the stock that's about to explode or will explode more. It's a multi-stock kaboom. CYCC is a multi-stock kaboom. I send alert at $2.02 and it exploded all the YouTubers out of Discord, other individuals in around the world got my alert and exploded to 80, almost 82%. That's CYCC. Take a look at that. See if you want to invest on that one. There's another one, CGC. CGC is a social media pump and dump. All right. Social media pump and dump. I send the alert on this one at $10.73 to all YouTubers, other Discord, other individuals around the world. And yesterday it exploded to $15.76. And I recognize that this is a social media pump and dump. All of these YouTubers out there, I'm not telling you who they are, but all the YouTubers, other Discord, and everybody else, what they did is I figured out that because of this news that they're all going to buy together and dump together. So... That's why it needs to be scalp so that you are not holding the bag. So now, today, the stock tank. But don't worry. There's going to be more news about, about the marijuana. So they're going to pump this stock again. So don't worry. They're going to pump it again. We just don't know when. So take a look at that. It's a massive tank, 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 tank. After the kaboom, after the social media pump and dump, you need to recognize that that's what they're doing because they entered at the lowest price possible. And as soon as it pumped really, really high, they're going to sell. Can you blame them? Can you blame them to take profit? No, you can't. So now look at this. Look at this mass massive pump and dump. All right. From here, right, it's at $8.27, exploded to $15, I know it's higher than that. And then they start to, to tank uh, because of profit takers. And and there's, there's some sort of things that is happening, right? And I don't blame them. That's how they want to play the game, but you need to be smart. There's a new way of trading a stock and you don't want to be holding the bag. I used to be a bag holder until I figured out what the stock markets are really doing. What are the other Discord, other YouTubers, and everybody else? On my Discord, they are forbidden to do this. They are forbidden to talk to each other. I don't allow anyone or anybody to talk to each other. I'm the only one that's sending alert, and no one is telling in the group to buy all at the same time and blah, blah, blah. Right? I'm not going to do that. I am not that kind of a trader where the others are doing that. They do that a lot. All of this Discord out there, they do that a lot. 
I'm not saying if that's wrong or right, but I refuse for my Discord to do that. All right. Let them do it. But I already know how the market works. Okay. First and foremost, do you know there's a playmaker? Do you know what that is? Do you know how to play a dividend play, a 10 cents play, a bankruptcy play? Do you know how to do that? Do you know how to enter and exit? Do you know how the backbone of stock market really do? Okay. Did they anyone or anybody teach you teaches you how to do due diligence? Okay. I showed all of that secrets on my online awareness class. And it is, all you have to do is go to rara pd.com Hey, rara pd.com And that's where you're going to discover all the secrets, entry and exit point. I revealed all the secrets. It's rara pd.com well, I revealed all the secrets. Okay. Rara. CocoPD.com. Here you go. All right. And you can go to plans and pricing. And that's where you're going to get my educational alert that's sent fast and quick all over the world. And then the online awareness class is right here. Okay. So that's the CGC. There's another one that is pumping, okay? So it looks like this other stock, IMMC. Take a look at that because they're about to repump that stock again, IMMC. All right. I think they're going to pump this stock again. Okay. Take a look at that stock, IMMC. See if you want to invest on that specific stock. It's a good starting price. Has a lot of potential to explode it again. I know exactly why they picked this one. And I revealed that secrets on my online awareness class. There is reason why they are picking this stock. I just want to let you guys know, and you need to be aware of it. There are reasons why they're picking this stock on why they are exploding, okay? There is a reason, reason, reason why. Oh man, I think I'm gonna need to get another computer or probably upgrade the software because it's taking freaking forever just to open this one. It's just slowing things down. The computer's so slow. So, 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 so slow. Okay. So, um, take a look at that IMCC. That's another stock that they are pumping and dumping. And the key is that you need to identify that so that you are not holding the bag. So, you know exactly how to scalp, swing, or do long-term uh, investment on this kind of stock. Okay. So, my name is Rara Coco. Take, uh, take a look. Page unresponsive. Oh my gosh, it's just so slow. Very, very slow. Okay. All right, guys, take a look at it. Uh, take a look at CTMX. That's another stock I can't show it to you, but CTMX, I can, you know, is another stock that exploded on my private Discord. CTMX and then that one, SYT, SYT. All right, go to my Twitter where you can see um, all my, my, uh, Evidence-based winning, kaboom, kaboom, kaboom. Thank you very much, guys. May you have love, peace, prosperity, and good health be with you all. Please subscribe. Hit the like button. Hit the notification button. Take care, and you have a great day. All right, so how do...